Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. In this video, we're going to be in Linux. Um, I have gotten a lot of Linux questions over the years, and one of the most common questions is, hey, I just installed X, Y, and Z Linux. Most of it is Ubuntu. And um, if I'm not at my computer when I turn it on, it defaults into Linux. I only really want to play around in Linux, but I either use this, this, or this, and it only runs in Windows, so I need it to default to Windows. How do you do that? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I am going to be using Ubuntu. I'm going to be using Ubuntu 20.04, and from some of the research I've done, this actually applies to older versions, even some other installations. Um, I'm going to show you how to install the Grub Customizer as well, but it, that's going to be more an Ubuntu um, thing. All right, let's go. All right, here we are on the Linux desktop, or particularly the Ubuntu GNOME desktop. Um, I am running, at the moment, a fairly vanilla install of Ubuntu. I do have one or two extras added on. And that is OBS and Discord, as well as a couple other things. Um, so to do this, we're going to want to go into the Ubuntu software store. You can still do this from the terminal if you want, but we're going to look it up on here. We're just going to do, whoops, Grub, if I can spell Grub. And you'll see Grub Customizer. This is what we're going to want. The Grub Customizer is actually available on other operating systems, uh, other Linuxes as well. I believe it's open source. I've noticed uh, that this, that the Ubuntu software store tends to have proprietary for a lot of things. All right, now that that is installed, and yes, that was quick. I actually didn't cut any of that out. We're going to open up Grub Customizer. It'll ask you for your password. It'll load up. This will take it. A, this takes a few minutes because it's got to load all the headers and the config files and analyze them. So we'll let this do its thing. All right, here we are in the Grub Customizer. Now that it has loaded everything that it can find, it, this can take a couple minutes here and there. Um, what we're going to want to do here is this is the current list of of things that are in there. What we're going to do is go into general settings and you have default entry. You can either do, you can either select it here and do that, or you can do like I do and I usually hit previous booted entry. Um, that way I can, if I'm in Linux and I have to restart for any reason, I can just go right into it. Same thing with Windows. I can just get right back into it. A lot of times when I restart, I get up and do something else. You can also do a lot of other things here, like change the appearance of it. Sometimes I'll do something weird, like light green there. And so yeah, um, I, I know this was probably another quick video. My next video, I will show you actually how to edit the Grub file, um, the way you used to have to do it in the old days. All right, until next time. Have a good day. You might want to save it too. You do want to make sure you save it out.